Didn't him grow two sizes two, two sizes too big? <clears throat> I'm raw, man. Stupid. What's going on, guys? Back with another video. I'm Marcus from the Backwoods Hooligans. Lexi isn't with me today because she had to work. But I decided I got a new bit for the video that I've been waiting to finish filming. Basically, I'm going to be calling GameStop because I bought a Call of Duty game for the Xbox One there. And when I try to play online with people, it keeps kicking me off. So I'm calling GameStop to try to figure out what's the problem with that. Maybe they sold me a shitty game or something. I'm basically going to tell them it's Terry's game. If you don't know who Terry is, go check out our video, our last video. And, uh... Basically, if Terry, if I can't get through to them, I'm going to get Terry because it's Terry's game. There's no real Terry. Funny story. I know a Terry in real life. If Terry can't get through to him, then he's just going to rip him a new one. So I think it's going to be funny if you guys like this and you guys want to see more Terry or more Tristan. Put it in the comments and subscribe. Turn on those notifications because you're not going to want to miss it. We got some bangers coming up for you guys. So hit like, subscribe, and share. Let's do this. Be the fan, that's what they call me. I promise that you never be lonely. Be the fan, that's what they call me. I promise that you never be lonely. Oh okay, wait, guys, you can see right, see right there. We focus in GameStop. So I'm gonna go ahead and call them. Call. Here we go, guys. Thank you for calling Cambridge GameStop, where you can pre-order Mortal Kombat 11 and Borderlands 3. This is Jordan, I can help you. Hi, uh, my name is Marcus, and I came in to buy a Call of Duty World War II game. Uh, me and my friend, me and my friend Terry came in to buy a World War II game. Right. And, uh, we just had some problems with it. It keeps kicking us off when we try to do, like, online playing with other people. I was wondering what was the problem with that. Could be a network issue. A net, uh, I tested my network and everything, and everything said it was fine. Um, I mean, uh, beyond that, I uh, I honestly couldn't tell you. You'd have to contact, like, you can check up online, do some research on uh, the same issue, see if the other people are having the same issue. Um, it's most likely going to come down to network issue, networking issues. Could be, like, the ports aren't registered on the what system is it on uh xbox one okay um yeah it could be some server issues with uh call of duty themselves um or otherwise yeah i mean i don't if everything else about the game works it's just the online connectivity it just keeps kicking you off yes okay yeah and um, you have xbox live gold uh no i just have xbox live okay well you you do need gold to play online Oh, we can play online, so maybe we do have gold, so. We can play online, it's just it kicks us off when we try to play with other people. Yeah, I, so. yeah, I, I don't know. Um, otherwise, uh, if you just want to return it, you can definitely return it, and you have a seven-day return policy with it. All right, uh, would you mind talking to my friend Terry real quick, so he knows what's going on? I, I mean, I don't know what's going on and what you're going to do. Like, uh, so you could tell him the same thing you told me. Would you mind telling him real quick? Uh, I, I guess so. Okay. Okay. Here's my chance, guys. He wants to talk to Terry. He's going to tell him the same thing. Terry's going to get pissed. Let's do it. Hello? Hi, this is Terry. Hi, Terry. This is Jordan from Cambridge and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I know that. Um, uh, so what's the problem with my Call of Duty game? That fucker keeps kicking me off. Uh, could be a networking issue with the network. Uh, could be Call of Duty servers. Uh, what I would recommend doing is just uh, searching online to see if other people are having the same exact issue that you're having. Um, you can even contact Call of Duty or you can contact Microsoft to see if they can help you with the problem. What? And if what? all else case fails, then uh, you got a seven-day full refund to return it. Okay, I can call Call of Duty. How, how, do, how do I call Call of Duty? Well, I would just search up on uh, Activision's website. Just search for Activision support. I don't have their number. 
Okay, so like you're saying I can return it like within seven days or... Yeah, you have a seven day return policy on pre-owned merchandise with the receipt. Okay, because I came in like two weeks ago to get this game. That fucker's been messing up ever since. Okay. So, well, I mean, and it doesn't happen with any other ones, just my copy. So like... Okay. Like, maybe I bought a piece of shit copy or something. I don't know. Well, if everything else works on it, like, in, you, the only time you have an issue is when you're trying to go online with it. It, it, it could just be the network server issues with Call of Duty themselves. Okay, but, uh, like Marcus said, our our uh, network is perfect, so it's got to be the game or something. Like, can I return it for another copy or something? We can definitely change it for another copy if you want to try that. Okay, and you're going to get it in Cambridge, right? Yes. Son of a bitch, are you shitting me? You think maybe it's my Xbox? I honestly couldn't tell you. Like I said, you, I would do some research online. Uh, the same exact issue that you're having, just Google that and see if other people are having the same issue. Uh, Alright, I can't get shit through to you guys. Goodbye. <laughs> guys, I said I couldn't get shit through to him. Well, Terry said he couldn't get shit through to him. So, uh... Now what I'm going to do is call the pawn shop that I got the Xbox from. And basically it's going to work the same way. Terry's, I'm going to call and then I'm going to go get Terry. Alright, let's do it. So I'm going to look up the pawn shop's number. We're going to call Northern Pawn Shop. I didn't really go to this Northern Pawn Shop. It's just like... I'm just going to call a pawn shop. I gotta look it up on Google, guys. Just bear with me. I'll pick up the camera when. We're calling Pawn America. So we're calling Pawn America, America, guys. We look forward to serving you. Please refer to our website at pawnamerica.com for individual store hours and locations. And while you're there, shop thousands of items from all our stores. Have your purchase shipped to your door, or drop by to the store and pick it up. Check it out. Shop whenever. Press one to talk to someone in our e-commerce department. Press two to pay your loan by phone, or stay on the line to talk to one of our store representatives. So we're talking to a representative. Let's see how this goes, guys. Hi, uh, my friend Terry came in there and got an Xbox, and uh, it just it's completely messing up for him and he just wants to talk to you guys and see maybe what the problem is if you guys can come up with a resolution or something yeah that's fine just have him bring it back in with the receipt and then yeah we can see either we can fix it on the spot for him if we can't we can swap it out for him okay. okay so i'm gonna go get him real quick because he wants to talk to you guys so i'll be right back all right uh sure all right so i'm going to get terry which terry is me so here we go Mm. Hi, this is Terry. Hey, Terry, it's Mike. How are you? Good, yourself? I'm all right. All right, listen. So I came in, got an Xbox One, and uh, I they're usually pretty good consoles, but this is turning out to be a piece of shit for me, so I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, like I just told the other guy, bring it in. Bring it in when, when, bring the system in with the, system, or with the receipt. We'll take a look at it. If we can't fix it on the spot for you, we'll swap it out for a different one. Okay, so like, uh, it says Xbox One, and, you know, I'm not sure how long it was sitting up on the shelf collecting dust and stuff, but, uh, you know, I think it's one of the very first Xboxes, and I think whoever checked me out was wrong. They said it was a new one, but this one is, like, really used. So, uh, like I said, there was a lot of dust bunnies on it when I got it. Okay, so where are you guys located at? Where are we located at? Yeah. By Planet Fitness? Like, in, did in, you buy the council from us? Yes, yes. In Cambridge, right? No, we are in St. Cloud. Oh, St. Cloud, St. Cloud. Maybe I called the wrong one, but anyways, could I bring it to your location, or does it have to be the Cambridge? 
Did right. You get that upon America? Yeah, I did get it upon America, yeah. In Cambridge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's a Pun America in Cambridge. Pretty sure that's where I bought it from. You have the receipt in front of you? I do not. I would say look on your receipt because we don't have a Pun America in Cambridge. I don't have the receipt. Are you shitting me? I'm not. So I'm stuck with a piece of shit then? Well, I would take it back to the original store that you got it from see if they can look up the receipt. Without a receipt, I can't do anything from another store. I could have swore that it was Pond America. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, maybe it ain't Pond maybe it ain't Cambridge, but I know for a fact it's Pond America. So, so, so like, like close to Cambridge, you're probably looking at, I don't even know what's even close to Cambridge. What all towns do you guys have a Pond America in? I mean, I have Pond America in Anoka, Coon Rapids, St. Cloud, and then a bunch down in the city. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, I'm gonna put, like, I'm gonna take that piece of shit back and try to get a new one, but... In the meantime, get your head out of your ass and learn to help people. All right, bye. <laughs> Guys, just missed a call from my friend, so I'm going to call him back. Hola. What up, Swizzle Dizzle? What's up, buddy? Oh, my throat hurts. Terry just called Pond America. <laughs> so they're like, what location did you get it from? I know I didn't get it from Cambridge, so uh, I just told him Cambridge, and he's like, well, there's not much we can do if you don't have the receipt in front of you. Do you got the receipt in front of you? I'm like, no, I don't got the receipt, but this is all in Terry's voice too, and I'm like, I'm like, are you shitting me? <laughs> out, I yeah, I tore him a new one, and freaking, he's like, no, I'm not shitting you. Just like bring it back. With your receipt, I said, fucking dumbass, I don't have the receipt. <laughs> I, dude, I just, like, I ripped, I ripped him a new one. It was just, nice. it was awesome. But I was going to see if you wanted to put it in a call and listen to my conversation, but I don't know. But I got it on video, so, like, my view, I'm filming for my video, for my viewers right now. Nice. So, the Mark anything you want to say for YouTube? All right, guys, so after all that fighting that Terry had with the game and the Xbox and stuff, he told me he was in the mood for pizza, so it's time for Terry to call pizza, call in for pizza. So I'm not going to do Pizza Hut because they're going to know it's me because I've already used to joke on them. So my choice is either uh, Pizza Pub or MS Pizza, so... Or I could do one in a different town. So I'm going to look up a number now. I'll pick up the camera when I find a number. Peace. Alright, so as I said, Pizza Hut, Pizza Pub, or MS Pizza. And those are the only three that are in my area. So I think I'm going to call MS Pizza. Alright. So I just got to get the number here. And, uh... Time to bring on my inner Terry. Let's do it. Hi, my name's Terry. I want to order a delivery. All right, where are we going to? All right, so it's going to be 715 Northern Joplin Street. All right, 715 North Joplin Street? Yeah. All right, just check a distance for you real quick. Oh, okay. Hope that's a real address. Um, 
I don't see a northern job on the street. We just have the job on the street. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is just Joplin Street. Can you try that? Yeah, are you just up Joplin, like, half a mile or something like that? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Can I get a phone number? Hey, it's, uh, 320. Okay. 516. Okay. 7891. All right, and what are you getting? I'm going to get an order of breadsticks. <clears throat> Alright, we got a Bosco sticks with a cheese, so red sticks. Sorry, what's that? Okay. And then, uh, what kind of dipping sauce do you want? Bosco sticks. Ah, uh, so garlic. You got garlic. Uh, nope, we got. Mary you shitting me? No garlic? Nope, no garlic. I'll here. take some fucking ranch then. Okay. I want a extra small pizza. Uh, we only have the one size crust and it's large. Ah, uh, that's a large. All right, I like large. Okay. And what kind of pizza are you getting? Ah, uh, it's going to be white sauce. Love that okay. white sauce. You guys make really good white sauce. Okay. All right, so it's going to be fresh chicken. All right, chicken. Bacon. Okay. Straight from the animals, please. Yeah. All right, and then uh, on top, there was a pepperoni. All right. Uh, extra cheese. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want anything. <laughs> Ooh, success. Y'all make that good white sauce. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like to see, if you like this prank and you like seeing Terry, comment down below if you like seeing Terry and Tristan. We will definitely make more videos. I think it was fun. I hate playing pranks on places because it's really mean, but it's just for the views. Uh, hit like, subscribe, and uh, turn on those notifications for when we post. We're going to have some good videos coming up. But until next time, I'm Marcus and Lexi is away. Thanks for watching the Backwoods Hoogan. We'll see you next time. Peace. What you giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe in the business. Not